A man and his horse had formed a deep bond throughout their years of friendship and never once separating. As the man neared the end of his life, he wanted to say farewell to his closest friend. When the horse approached his side, everyone could feel the emotional weight of this final goodbye. But what the horse did next broke the hearts of all present, bringing them to tears. Roberto Gonzalez was known in his youth for both his physical and mental strength. He never hesitated to fight for what he believed in and stood by anyone in need, regardless of who they were. Protecting the weak and refusing to turn a blind eye to the suffering of others was his life's philosophy. So it surprised no one when he decided to join the army before the Vietnam War. Roberto was a perfect fit for the military and quickly adapted to his unit. When he was sent to the Vietnam front, he fought bravely as always. But this time he wasn't defending just one person, he was fighting for his country. This battle became the greatest mission of his life. Unfortunately, despite his courageous efforts in Vietnam, Roberto was severely injured, leaving him paralyzed. He was immediately sent back to the U.S., as his country owed him the best care possible after his enormous sacrifice. However, despite the doctor's best efforts, it remained uncertain whether he would ever walk again. Yet, with his indomitable spirit, Roberto fought a new battle, this time against his own body. Over time, he made small but promising improvements, regaining partial control of his body. While he never fully recovered, he was far better off than being completely paralyzed. Most people in his situation might have given up, but not Roberto. He did everything in his power to prove everyone wrong. Still, despite his efforts, he couldn't recover enough to return to the army. When he finally accepted this reality, he dedicated himself to another passion, horses. He had admired them even before the army, seeing them as both elegant and powerful creatures. Now, with the time and opportunity, he threw himself wholeheartedly into this passion. For the next 30 years, Roberto raised various breeds of horses, caring for them with great love. This new pursuit replaced his longing to return to the military, giving him a renewed sense of purpose in life. While some people saw horses as mere pets to Roberto, they were so much more. He devoted himself to their care, feeding them, helping during births, and being present through every stage of their growth. He contributed to their development, raising them into strong, healthy animals, when the time came, he sold these beautiful creatures to loving new owners. But the hardest part of the job was saying goodbye. Roberto found it increasingly difficult to part with each horse he sold, but he accepted it as a part of his work, even if he didn't like it. Over the years, Roberto formed strong bonds with countless horses, but one of them was especially close to him. This was a large bay horse he named Mario. Mario was born bigger than the other foals on the farm and grew rapidly. Even as a young colt, he shared a deep bond with Roberto. Mario was like Roberto's shadow, following him wherever he went and recognizing his voice from miles away. As soon as Mario heard Roberto's footsteps, he would gallop around the corner to greet him. Every time they saw each other, both would be filled with joy, spending hours together. Sometimes they played games. Other times, they simply stood side by side enjoying the warmth of the summer sun. As Mario continued to grow, he quickly became one of the largest horses Roberto had ever owned. But a tragic event occurred when Mario's mother rejected him a few days after birth. Roberto immediately stepped in to care for the foal. Although he had done this many times before, this time felt different. Mario wasn't just an animal to him, but his best friend. Despite his massive size, Mario remained a loving and gentle horse. Roberto often compared him to a giant dog, a loyal friend who never tired of affection and rewards. As the years passed, Roberto's pace slowed. Old age prevented him from being as active as he once was. He began delegating the heavier tasks of horse breeding to others while taking on lighter duties himself. But his health steadily declined. Liver and kidney problems plagued him, and he frequently had to visit the hospital, trying to manage his condition with medication. The toll of a long and arduous life eventually caught up with him. His body, no longer able to bear the weight of the years, finally gave in. One day, Roberto suffered a severe fall and was rushed to the local hospital. His body grew weaker by the day. Despite the best efforts of doctors and medical staff, Roberto didn't have much time left. There was little more they could do. Brave Roberto's journey was nearing its end. He felt sadness, but also peace knowing he had lived a full life. 
Still, before he left this world, he had one final wish, to see his beloved horse, Mario, one last time. The doctors considered keeping Roberto in the hospital, but given his fragile state and his desire to spend his final days surrounded by loved ones, they agreed to send him home. Roberto would have the chance to spend his last moments in the place where he felt most at peace and happiest, his home, among his loved ones and dearest friends. An ambulance carefully brought Roberto back to the horse farm. As they gently lifted the stretcher out of the vehicle, the plan was to take him inside right away. But Roberto had another request. In his final moments, he wanted to see all the animals on the farm one last time. The medical staff understood the sincerity of his wish and slowly began wheeling his stretcher around the property. Roberto gazed lovingly at each animal, with traces of the bonds he had formed over the years visible everywhere. Most of the horses didn't pay much attention to Roberto, but he smiled at each one, remembering the beautiful moments they had shared. Yet one horse seemed to immediately sense what was happening and understood the gravity of the situation. That horse was his loyal friend, Mario. Even in Roberto's weakened state, Mario instantly recognized him and was thrilled to see him. Roberto, struggling, gently raised a hand to softly stroke Mario's nose, his fingers tracing slowly across the massive horse's face. Mario stood calmly, content with the touch. And in that moment, it was clear that the bond they had formed over the years was still as strong as ever. But what happened next brought everyone to tears. As Roberto's hand, exhausted and weak, fell back to the bed, Mario gently placed his muzzle in Roberto's palm, as if asking for a bit more closeness and love, yearning to spend just a little more time together. Despite his fatigue, Roberto mustered the strength to lift his hand again and stroke Mario one last time. The giant horse then rested his head on Roberto's frail body, as if to comfort and encourage him looking deeply into his eyes. The quiet, profound connection between them deeply moved everyone present. This was a pure, heartfelt moment between two old friends. Everyone around was overwhelmed with emotion, tears flowing freely, while Roberto and Mario shared a silent, intimate farewell. Perhaps Mario sensed that he wouldn't see his best friend again. Slowly, he lifted his head from Roberto's fragile body, gave him one last, lingering look, and quietly walked away. Roberto didn't have much time left in this world, but he found peace in having shared one last moment with his beloved friend. Shortly after, with his heart full of the warmth of Mario's presence, Roberto passed away peacefully. Please don't forget to like the video, share it with your loved ones, and subscribe to the channel.